memories of olive oil here in Monte Castelli, a beautiful spot in central Tuscany close to Siena. A location probably a thousand years of history at least. When we 20 years ago came here we found still ruins and we rebuilt them carefully with uh, natural building materials uh, to create an overall very authentic Tuscan feel also with the materials that are found in the architecture of Monte Castelli. Ours is a villa with eight rooms. We are very small, we receive our guests personally, are available for them day and night and uh, the idea is to give very personal family integrated opportunity to relax, to have a wonderful spot that they can claim their own and equipped with a kitchen that are large enough to cook their own gourmet meals or we'd be happy to cook meals uh, with the ingredients harvested in our garden or from our own charcuterie or animals, uh, dinners that are very farm specific. We have about 1,240 plants, trees. We have therefore also opted to build our own olive mill and guarantees us the freshest, most beautiful fruit and that's what we are interested in. Producing olive oil, there was a need uh, once bottled uh, to find the chefs who would appreciate what we produce and New York seemed to be the right place to start and look for somebody. Ten years ago I met uh, Marco in 2003 in a just uh, recently new open restaurant Hearth. You know, from the moment he walked into Hearth, my restaurant in New York, he claims that he felt a sense of hospitality and a sense of walking into somebody's home. I loved his food, his easy presentation, high quality approach, high quality ingredients, but uh, family style, relaxed atmosphere in the restaurant. We both have very similar sensibilities in terms of our simplicity, in terms of our hospitality. Ten years ago he bought our first bottle of olive oil and uh, still today he is our prime contact and uh, best promoter of what we do here. It's some of the best oil I've ever, ever had. So it was the beginning of a very long relationship. So my style of cooking is a very, very simple style of cooking. I'm a big believer in less is more. And you know, I learned that starting with my mom and my aunt. Um, they were born and raised in Tuscany in Lucca. We had a garden and we cared about what we ate and we cared about where the food came from, from a very young age. And it kind of shines through in my food today. And uh, I think that, that that resonated with the end. And when he asked to possibly do a cooking class here and he kind of brought me out to look at the property, I was thrilled by the prospect of doing it. There's so many virtues about cooking and I kind of have been on a mission to share my knowledge of cooking with people. I'm a big believer that uh, it's a very easy thing to do and I kind of fill the class with very basic uh, skills that would allow you to kind of broaden your repertoire. This isn't a school like you would think of a school in the States or some kind of big culinary school. We essentially, we cook uh, what we're gonna eat for lunch and then we cook what we're gonna eat for dinner and we do it together and I try to infuse as much knowledge in terms of technique as I can. And it's really, a, it becomes like a family affair. It's really a communal thing and it's a very comfortable, relatively easy week in terms of learning and cooking. The 
foods that we cook here are very simple Tuscan fare, and I want to teach a little bit of the history and the heritage that goes behind the food. You can get as involved as you want, or you could just kind of, you know, kick back and go take a swim in the pool if you want. uniqueness is the freshness and uh, the completeness with which we can offer a meal not only the meats not only the veggies but also uh, we grow about uh, 20 different herbs here at Montegasselli another 15 20 are wild uh, we harvest uh, they're grown here spontaneously many of them belong to the herbs uh, used in biodynamic farming like chamomile nettle artemisia very healthy living environment and this is what we want to transmit. You know, to have access to ingredients and products that are grown right here on the property and to, you know, come outside and pick thyme or oregano or sage or rosemary and to take it inside and to cut it while the heat of the sun is still inside, it really makes for an extraordinarily tasty food. During the year, in Monte Castelli at the villa, we hold a number of classes, cooking and wine classes. We here have a cellar filled with 2,000 bottles dating back to vintages in Chianti Classico or Brunello to the 70s, and ready to share and explore these uh, with our guests, bringing and showing wines not way beyond Tuscany. Italy is a grand, grand country, over 400 indigenous varieties, uh, more than any other country in the world, and that is a wealth that, that uh, we are very proud of sharing here at the villa. We came to the conclusion of caring animals, of caring for them, only after many, many years having started here already. We were a no animal farm for the longest time. We planted our olive trees, we had our veggie garden. About six years ago, I introduced uh, pigs and donkeys to the farm. I wanted to give every aspect of Monte Caselli, however, a destination, a hue, something to fit its profile. The pigs were, you know, the source of our aspiration to make great high-end charcuterie. Then we added dogs and cats and uh, horses as well, guinea fowl, capons um, and chicken. So we have today over 50 animals that we care for, that we feed every morning, every evening. There was something about the vitality of an animal being around us. It added something in the communication between the human, the plant, the animal was the missing part. And today I'm a very strong believer that if that balance doesn't exist, also what we produce here and our aspiration to make high-end quality foods cannot be realized. We have introduced with the animals also a lot of nature, wild birds, insects, the variety of everything alive here has since increased tremendously. That really brings us to the full spectrum of organic farming. We can now fight every incoming pest or insect with its enemy. There is uh, no unbalance in nature any longer. We don't have to spray. We haven't sprayed in uh, over 10 years here. Nature and a location that has come back to life thanks to the animals that we've introduced and the plants we care for.
Tuscany, they do a lot of grilling on an open fire. And uh, I wanted to do the Bisteca alla Fiorentina, which is the uh, special Chianina breed of cattle here in Tuscany that they, they love so much. We build a huge fire and, and they kind of learn how to work the fire and grill the meats on the fire. We set up the table kind of overlooking the scenery here and it really makes for a wonderful night of dining. The final night is the Friday night, and uh, everybody gathers, and we get a local pizzaiolo, and he comes and makes a huge dough, and we start the thousand-year-old outdoor wood-fired oven, and uh, we set up all the toppings for pizza, and he kind of shows the class how to, you know, kind of maneuver the dough and make individual pizzas, and we all kind of hang out for hours and drink beer and drink wine and we all make pizzas and it's just this phenomenal. Here at Monte Castelli, it was a family enterprise uh, I wouldn't be able to do what I do and uh, wake up with a smile on my face without my son Chelso, without my wife Barbara, and also my brother Holger and my mom is often here as well as uh, also Barbara's parents. So it's a real family uh, operation and with that spirit we, we like uh, you all to come and join us here.